We're in today with the legendary R9 Nano. This is a 2015 video card from ASUS. It's got 4,000 shaders, 4,000 megabytes of VRAM HBM memory from Hynix. It's got 1,000 megahertz on the core clock, 500 megahertz on the memory clock, 4,000 bits bus width, and today we're gonna pair it up with this i7-6950X with 10 cores and 20 threads. Awesome little monster, but the best thing we can do, jump in a couple of games and see how it holds. Let's go. Let's start with Battlefield. I wanna see this game running with this video card. I wanna Put it on the list let's see what we got here 720p no farm let's start with 1080p if it does a really nice work here with uh, ultra on 1080p then we can go maybe higher on the resolution who knows you know 1080p with ultra it's enough you know for me for a 2015 video card it's enough you know but uh, if it does uh, really nice then maybe it's not utilized at maximum seriously maybe it's holding 200 there because it's already at maximum let's see does it hit it Oh, you, oh, it come down! <laughs> See, the moment I'm fighting, the moment there is explosions here and there, you get like 100 FPS on minimal and 104 on 1%. All right, so Battlefield on 1080p with Ultra has a little uh, headroom at the beginning. If you're in the base, you get lots of FPS. But the moment you're in the fight here with this, you can actually see the video card is excelling on the quality, performance. 1080p is holding okay on the on the um, on the temperature. You know the the. GPU it's okay with the temperature, doesn't have any problems, VRAM uh, is not fully utilized, it's, it's good, you know, it, it's a good performance from this. On the system side, I got like 20% load on the CPU, it doesn't have any problems there, you know, I got like 8.3 gig of system RAM and uh, 13 gig of uh, virtual memory written, it's, it's there. Seriously, it's a nice performance from this. If I want more, I think I have to lower the quality or the resolution in order to get constant FPS. But until now, everything is good with this. Wait, 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 calm down, calm down. Same thing in uh, Battlefield 4 here with this, and uh, maybe I'm gonna get lucky and have a nice experience with 1080p and ultra details. Hundreds of FPS is good because it allows me to reach the performance for the monitor, and you can see that is doing a freaking nice job. 100 fps 140 fps on average this is a good number from this video card in this case not a bad performance 2.8 gig of uh, vram allocated and 1.8 processed it's handling the game really nice with a lot of fps so idea will be to keep this resolution and this performance because it's fantastic fan speed around 70 percent load with 61 62 degrees it's not bad shows me that the temperature can be achieved here with uh, this amount of load really easy you know so the video card itself is not overheating and is doing a fantastic job can't say no to a game like this when it's running so cool with maximum details look at the ray tracing beautiful ray tracing 2015 ray tracing awesome ray tracing with 80 fps look at that it's achievable ray tracing how about battlefield 5 let's see the same thing 1080p with uh, maximum details i got 3 gig of vram allocated and 2.3 process 2.2 look at that it's holding okay 58 percent fan speed with 57 degrees it's going up the temperature and i think it's going to stabilize there with uh, 60 62 degrees that is going to be interesting i got 100 fps on average that's the only thing that is good here about this 91 fps on minimal 22 on one percent are you sure let me do one more time a reset and then uh, see how it's performing seriously because 22 is not okay. yeah it is 14.6 gig of system ram utilized here with nearly 20 gig of virtual memory with 41 42 percent load on the cpu side that's a lot seriously from this computer i'm guessing this game is utilizing the cpu how it should seriously I'm so mesmerized how nice the game looks with this performance and how it's performing. Look at that, look at that, look, one more. Fucking hell, look at them. More, more, please. 3 gig of VRAM utilization is still there with this. Temperature is still holding okay, minimal, lows, 87 on minimal and 76 on 1%. That's not bad. This is the game that needs to be played on a video card like this. I put ultra details here with uh, maximum details on 1080p and it's holding okay. There's a lot of fighting here. What do I do with this? It's uh, getting barely 60 FPS with so many people online. Whoa! 3.8 gig of VRAM allocated and 2.7 processed. 
this game needs a lot. It's eating this computer inside out. So I got like 40% load, 11 gig of system RAM. It's less than uh, Battlefield 5 with 17 on uh, virtual memory. What was he? Behind. Damn. But I got good temperature on the video cards. VRAM is almost maxed out here with 67% fan speed in order to keep this whole thing cold. You know, the core and the memory. All in all, I can say this is good. Very, very heavy game on this computer and this video card. Seriously, I never thought I would see this uh, running like this. I mean, 100% load on the video card's core, maximum VRAM. I mean, the game is uh, it's full, seriously, with a lot of people. But uh, I never expected it to run like this. <laughs> all in all, I can say, apparently, Planet Side, apparently, this game, it's uh, way too heavy on this video card, seriously. Even the core managed to reach 1.1 on the voltage. Before, it was lower, like 1.0 or something, and it was uh, doing uh, maximum performance. But now, it's 112, see? That's a lot. All right, cross out. I have 1080p with highest details with uh, legacy GPU turned off and I disable motion blur because I don't want uh, nothing there with related to motion blur. The performance is quite astonishing here. It's allocating 3.8 gig of VRAM in this case. 2.8 is processed. The video card is being utilized here and there is no discussion. 59 degrees is good. 1.06 on the voltage side, so it's averaging uh, really nice. All right, let's do one more timer reset and see if we can actually hold it. This is good. This is a good performance from this uh, video card and this computer. Let's take a look and see how it's holding. 3.8 gig of VRAM allocation and 3 gig. Dude, it's slapping with this game. Seriously, this computer, this video card, everything is good here in this situation. But you can't say nothing bad because uh, it's doing the job. Temperature is good, VRAM allocation and utilization is good, core is maxed out, so on the temperature side, with 66% fan speed and 60 degrees, I will not say this is bad, seriously, this is a good performance overall. On the system side, I got like 15% load maximum, with 9.8 gig of system RAM and 16.7 gig of virtual memory. I like the performance it's offering here, seriously. I want to see how this game is holding on this occasion with this uh, video card. It's got nice potential with uh, this R9 Nano. Considering now the game is very heavy, previously, before it was updated like this, I will say this is a very interesting thing to see. Not bad overall performance with this uh, computer. I did a reset here to see how it's performing. I want to see if it's uh, got uh, any good averages in this case 120 fps on average is good 100 percent load 3.4 gig of vram allocated and 2.9 in this case not a bad performance from this usually when you're playing uh, a game like this you need a lot of vram but in this case with this nano you can see that uh, it's not that bad does a really nice job here on uh, actually delivering the fps we got uh, very low one uh, percent here but uh, in uh, the overall performance is quite good on the system side, I got like 16 gig of system RAM with 20 gig of virtual memory. You can actually see the game is doing the job. It's holding pretty well. You know, 2.6 gig of VRAM processed in this case with this video card. It does a fantastic job. So this is balance preset. So in Fortnite with 1080p, because if I go more than balance, he says I need like four or five gig, six gig of uh, VRAM. And I don't have four gig of VRAM. Apparently this is it. You know, this is the maximum this video card can do. So overall performance in Fortnite with this is not bad. You can see it does really nice. It's averaging okay around the buildings. Maybe with some effects, it's gonna drop a little more. But aside from that, there is not a single problem. In World of Tanks with ultra details with 1080p with 100% render scale, apparently, it's doing a fantastic job. After the update, I wanted to see how it's running with this. No, no, because it's a very good game. Very uh, entertaining in some situation with this 100% load on the core I got 60 degrees with 64% uh, fan speed in this case it does a really nice job here but uh, the only thing that matters here is uh, how much I'm gonna average the CPU itself doesn't have any problems 20% load with 12.8 uh, gig of uh, system RAM loaded this is a good uh, performance from the computer can say nothing bad about it I got like 12.8 gig of system RAM in this case with 17 uh, uh, virtual memory 
can't say nothing wrong about it because it does a fantastic job in this case. It does give you the right FPS and uh, that's the only thing that matters. I entered uh, Armored uh, Warfare with uh, this video card on 1080p with maximum details. It's very important to see even this game compared to um, uh, World of Tanks and see how it's performing here versus that one. It's it's kind of cool. The game looks and it runs interesting with this video card. Seriously, I want to see more performance from this. It's got a lot of effects. If I press, if I mistaken, if I press G, yeah, it's got smoke. Look at that, 72 FPS on. Uh, uh, on that occasion. 3.7 gig of VRAM allocated, 3.8 and 2.2 process. Whoa, this is a lot, but it looks gorgeous. Having this little part in, uh, in your screen is magnificent. But like, regardless, regardless, on the system side, like I look at 30% load with 14 gig of system RAM and 20 virtual memory. That's a lot of performance from this uh, computer taken. Identify target. In a fight, it was like 48 FPS with ammunition, explosion, smoke. What the f was that? 36 on 1%. That was very intense, seriously. I'm doing the same thing in War Thunder with 1080p and maximum details. Holy smoke, is lagging. <laughs> it dropped FPS. Let me do a reset. Maybe it's gonna. Not gonna lag. I got 3.2 gig of VRAM allocated with 2.9 processed. It's being utilized in this case with the video card with 100% load. I got 64% uh, fan speed in order to keep this on 59 degrees with 350 watts consumption. So War Thunder on 1080p is doing great in this case. Lot of load on the video card, but it's holding it pretty well. I will call this a big W for the video card. There is no discussion. This is good, performance is good, quality is good with maximum. On the system side, I got 20% uh, load with nearly 12 gig of system RAM and it's holding okay. Damn, one shot and it was done. No, let's go in there. Maybe we'll get lucky on actually getting a plane there. Oh, look at that, I got a plane. You see, 3.4 gig of VRAM is good. Getting nice performance from this. Let's see, can we shoot this one and get some nice performance here? No 61 degrees, he's holding. My gun is jammed. Hit him! to survive 10 seconds with this no no safe and sound and the plane was going down <laughs> holy f I got bombed by a plane. I really like this GPU and how it's performing. Considering the year this video card was made, like 10 years ago, it's kind of nice to see it in 2015 video card still holding pretty well. I'm actually surprised with the whole Fury series, you know, because it's, I think it's the drivers. So it's like uh, the most generic drivers you can get from IMD's website. Yes, I know you can put uh, numerous drivers. You can put it at, with more up-to-date drivers if you're interested on in pushing this video card to the limit but i just wanted to see as a generic driver's house performing it's a very awesome video card that i think needs more uptime maybe in the next test i will put uh, nimes drivers try to find the latest one and see how it's performing because it's a capable video card and you can take the drivers too in the future is going to be other games i think uh, i want to go for uh, older titles like 2015 or even older games i want the video card to shine even more seriously because it's an awesome gpu and uh, it needs all the glory all the uptime if i can say that you know because it's awesome it's small it's compact it doesn't consume a lot of power and yeah i like it seriously this is a freaking awesome video card to have in your collection in a way I don't want to recommend it, you know, because I want to get another one. <laughs> because it's so awesome and I wish I had another one so I can test it in Crossfire. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe I get lucky one day and I can get one and I want to see how he's performing. Two of them in crossfire. It would be so fantastic, seriously. Nevertheless, nevertheless, like I said, if you have any suggestion for this video card, for this operating system or for that uh, future old operating system where I'm going to test some older games, leave a comment, smash that like button. And as usual, I will see you very soon.